So this problem wants us to solve for y, and we have an equation, but this equation has fractions in it. I think that the easiest way to solve an equation that has fractions is to first make only one fraction on the left and one fraction on the right. So to combine these two fractions, we need to find a common denominator. Between 3 and 6, we can multiply the 3 by 2 to make it 6, to have a common denominator. But if we multiply the denominator by 2, we also have to multiply the numerator. So doing this step, 2 times 2 is 4. So 4y over 2 times 3 is 6 minus 1 over 6 is equal to 2y minus 1 over 9. Now that we have common denominators, we can combine by subtracting the numerator and or the numerators and the denominator stays the same. So it'll be 4y four four minus 1 over 6 is equal to 2y minus 1 over 9. From here, we need to get a common denominator between the two sides. So if we multiply 6 by 3 and we multiply 2 or 9 by 2, we get to 18. So let's multiply top and bottom by 3 here and by 2 as well here. And I'll go over to this side. Distributing my 3 in, I get 12y minus 3 times 1 is 3 over 18 is equal to, then distribute the 2 in, 4y minus 2 over 18. Now, once we've gotten the same denominator on both sides, we can basically just ignore it. Or another way to think about it is like we're multiplying both sides by 18, and that cancels these both out and leaves us just with 12y minus 3 is equal to 4y minus 2. So last is just to get the y by itself. So if we subtract both sides by 4y, we'll move all the y's to the left-hand side. 12 minus 4 is 8. So 8y minus 3 is equal to, bring down the negative 2, because it's canceled out. And we can move the minus 3 over by adding 3 to both sides. 8y is equal to negative 2 plus 3 is 1. And then finish up by dividing both sides by 8 to get the y by itself to make y is equal to 1 over 8. And it can be helpful when you're doing rational equations to plug in your solution just to, to make sure, to verify that it works. But whenever you don't have any y's in the denominator, it should be good. So I'll skip the, the checking step. So I hope this video step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video and share with anybody you think might find these types of videos useful. Also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more similar videos of homework help. And if you have any questions, leave those in the comments or any problems that you would like to see a homework help solution like this one done on. You can leave those in the comments or email it to me with, at the email in the description if it's hard to send in as text. Thanks for watching.